100 years ago, Britain and France made a secret deal to divide the Middle East between them. Now, we can draw a map. But what were the lasting effects of this agreement? This film falls under documentary film type that records the event of over 100 years. The film was co-produced by Noon for Visuals and Al Jazeera. I did not expect myself to take part in the production team for making this film, which was exclusively shown on Al Jazeera Arabic and Al Jazeera English TV channel. I worked as apprentice with a professional team like Noon Company for Visuals. The producer allowed me to snap some photos of behind the scene which will be used as material for my final project. The Ottoman Empire is assailed by misfortune, crippled by myriad vices and the prey of alien greed ambition and timidity. Englishmen may have ideas, but they are unable to take any steps to overturn the regime and free the peoples under its power. In this film, there are dozens of scenes. Each one of them needed special preparations precisely and skillfully taken care of. To do this, there are people working behind the scenes. So let's discover together who are working behind the scenes and as viewers, we evoke these events. I'm Rick Platt. I'm a drama director. I work predominantly at the BBC. Um, I trained as an actor originally and um, I now work as a, in continuing drama. So what I've tried to do is I've tried to create as much as I possibly can the feeling of a period, very, very much create the 1915 period, but I've tried to make the characters in them human and real because I think in a, lot of, a lot of times, especially when you're doing reconstructions, you, you can appear as if you're almost playing caricatures from a distant past and the wonderful thing about history, the thing that uh, attracts me to history is that everybody is human. So they're all humans like you or I but they just happen to have lived a hundred years ago under different circumstances so they react in a very human way. Problems really, I suppose we're shooting in a stately home so we're trying to recreate three or four sets within one big stately home of a few rooms. So the challenge has been to try and, as in most filming circumstances, to try and create a period drama that is set in one building, which has to be three or four different places. So um, the, the challenges are that you can't see through windows in certain areas. I can't see, for example, outside the windows of a lot of the house, there are fields and fields of oilseed rape. And to my knowledge, there isn't much oilseed rape in Westminster. <laughs> Certainly not outside Whitehall, so uh, that's been a, that's been a challenge. Okay, my name is John Atwood. I'm the gaffer on this production. So we turned up, and yesterday we needed to uh, have a. We've got a lot of lo windows on the ground floor and where we need to film. So we started by putting out a lot of mains. Unfortunately, the house, the location, has its own power. So we've used that, and we've used a lot of HMIs, two 6Ks, 
two M40s, which is a 4K, and two two and a halfs outside. Because being a, <coughs> a stately home, obviously there's a lot of windows. So we've got inside the location, there's two free rooms, and we've been using a lot of the big lights, the HMIs, for a shaft of light to come through. On the set interior, we've then been using a lot of soft lights. So those are predominantly uh, LEDs, battery operated, which enables us to move around pretty quick. So this is a very nice costume job to do, this period job. We've got some very interesting costumes here. We've got prime ministers, government officials, um, soldiers, military from all, from France, from Europe, from the UK. Very nice, it's going very simply. The costume studio in Paul's Road is a great place to get your costumes. And they've all fitted well. I think everybody's looked the part. But this is just like a senior government official. This is a senior government official as well. Different types, different types, frock coats, the whole works, chains, waistcoats. Um, so, so far the makeup and everything's been going pretty well. Um, all the cast have been lovely, which always makes it easier. Um, but no, just I've been popping on lots of moustaches onto people. I've got the historical figure headshots and then the, the actors, their headshots and trying to get as close a match as possible so that could be changing partings, greying at the temples or if they have an existing moustache, you know, changing that colour or as I say, adding to them. Okay, my name's John Pigger. Um, I was the director of photography on Lines in the Sand. Um, it was a two day project. It's the second time I've worked with these guys at noon. Um, me and Rick did a little job, a one day job, sort of reconstruction about a year ago. Uh, and it's always a really nice experience. You know, I enjoyed it a lot. And across here, including Mosul. Mosul, the town. No, the Vilayet, the whole area around. 20 years ago, the Vilayet of Mosul included the Baghdad and Basra districts. Are you suggesting they should be separated now? The base part of the dorm, oh, die! Phone <laughs> home. Peace. Good night.